right, everybody. No one's wearing a mask. Just breathing raw dog tonight. <laughs> wow! Denzel Macbeth loved it. <laughs> I love the part where it said, King Lear don't got nothing on me. <laughs> Y'all gotta see it, it's really good. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> it's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep your wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. No! I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. Now, the beauty of documentaries, because they, they make you, when you watch one, you feel smart. Like you watched a, like, you know, like you read a book or something. But all you really did was get high and watch Netflix. So here we go. Here we go. The documentaries, the nominees are, let's just go to the nominees. I did not know that this year was going to be the most exciting Oscars ever. Okay, Will and Chris, we're going to solve that like family at the gold party. Okay, but right now we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. Queen B. And the Oscar goes to... Richard Williams um, was a fierce defender of his family. Yeah. In this time in my life, in this moment, I am overwhelmed by what God is calling on me to do and be in this world. Making this film, I got to protect Ingenue Ellis, who was one of the most, the strongest, most delicate people I've ever met. I got to protect Sanaya and Demi, the two actresses that played Venus and Serena. I'm being called on in my life to love people and to protect people and to be a river to my people.
And I know to do what we do, you got to be able to take abuse. You got to be able to have people talk crazy about you. In this business, you got to be able to have people disrespecting you. And you got to smile and you got to pretend like that's okay. But Richard Williams, and what I loved, thank you, D. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. It's like, I want to be a vessel for love. I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena. I just spit. I hope they didn't see that on TV. Um, I want to say thank you to Venus and Serena and the Tyre Williams family for entrusting me with your story. That's what I want to do. I want to be an ambassador of that kind of love and care and concern. Um, I want to apologize to the Academy. I want to apologize to my, all my fellow nominees. Um, this is a beautiful moment, and I'm not I'm not, I'm not crying for winning a, an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. It's about being able to shine light on all of the people, Tim and, and Trevor and Zach and Sanaya and Demi and Ingenue and the entire cast and crew of King Richard and Venus and Serena, the, the entire Williams family. Um, Art imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, but love will make you do crazy things. Um, to my mother, um, a lot of this moment is really complicated for me, but uh, to, to my mother, um, she didn't want to come out. She was, had her knitting friends. She has a knitting crew that she's in Philly watching, <laughs> watching with. Um, um, being able to love and care for my mother and my family, my wife. Um, I'm taking up too much time. Uh, thank you for this honor. Thank you for this moment, and thank you on behalf of Richard and, and Orsine, the entire Williams family. Um, thank you. Uh, uh, hope the Academy invites me back. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>